Okay, variation four. Um, the variation takes place in the last bar of the four bar pattern again. Play it through. Two, three, four. Okay, the fourth bar is the variation. Okay, and the notes are D, open A string, D again, open E string, F sharp. The D is the fifth fret of the um, A string, uh, and the F sharp is the second fret of the E string. So D, A, D, D, E, F sharp. Okay, variation five is a simple variation of the first bar, um, and it's almost like uh, the first bar of the intro. I'll play through the four bar pattern. Two, three, four. Okay, so all you're doing in the first bar is this. So instead of coming back to the G, you're just hanging on the B which is another nice way of leading to the C note because it's a uh, semitone below it. So that's a simple variation. Okay, this is variation six. Um, this is a variation to the second bar of the pattern. I'll play it in context. Two, three, four. Okay. So the second bar, slowed down. So what you're doing is you're going from C, which is third fret of the A string, to E, second fret of the D string, open D string, to F sharp. And then obviously you go on to the rest of the pattern. Okay, variation seven, the variations in the third bar of the pattern. Here's the whole four bars. Two, three, four. Okay, so here's bar three, slow down. If your ear is pretty good with intervals, you'll hear that that's an octave that you're slipping in there. So it's G, it starts off with G, which is the fifth fret of the D string. Then down an octave to G at the third fret of the E string. Back to fifth fret of the D string. And then you've got your B and C sharp leading to the next part of the pattern, which is D. Okay, variation A is a variation of the last bar of the pattern, and this is the you need to use this last bar before you go to the chorus, um, which we'll cover shortly. But the chorus is in C, um, and so instead of going back down to G from D, you're going down to C. So this is a great way of really marking that you're going down to C um, by leading down chromatically, which means in semitones. Um, I'll play through the four bars and I'll finish on the C so you can hear how strong that movement is. Two, three, four. And you also saw I threw in that octave variation on bar three. So let's look at that. It's very simple. You're playing D. This is the fifth fret of the A string down to C sharp, which is obviously 4th fret, and then down to the, the first note of the chorus, which is C, and we'll look at the chorus shortly. Um, so you get this, it's almost like a passing note. What's great about that is it really leads the audience down to that first note. Um, it also marks the end of the section for anyone else in the band who might not be sure where in the format of the tune they are if they get lost. Um, 
you're holding it just for one note but it's a clear indicator to everyone that you're about to go to the chorus um, so it's a really good way um, to add a little jazzy inflection into your line um, and it and it sounds really good too so um, that's something that I always use to go into the chorus chorus is an eight bar pattern. I tend to not vary the chorus so much um, so again it helps mark out things out for the for the rest of the guys in the band when you're playing this live. Um, the chords are fairly straightforward. C, the root notes are C, D, G, E and then C, D, G back to D. So let's look at the first bar. The first bar is this. So that's almost a very Latin rhythm, it's you're just playing the C, which is the root note, which is the third fret of the A string, and then you're playing up to um, G, which is the fifth fret of the D string, and then you go into D, and those notes are D, C, A, so it's D, fifth fret, two eighth notes on the C at the third fret, and those are the A string, and then down to A at the fifth fret of the E string, and to G, so you've got G's at the third fret, and then you're playing F sharp, which is the second fret. And then open E string, and that E pattern is open E, open E again. Then G at the third fret, B at the second fret of the A string. And then you're back to C and D. Those two patterns are identical to how we did it the first time. Then when we're down to G, we've got to go back up to D instead of going up to going down to E. So um, in the seventh bar I play which is basically G at the third fret of the E string and then B and C sharp which is second and fourth frets of the A string and then last bar you're up to D And that drop down is um, D, open E, F sharp, second fret, and you're back into the verse. Now that's chorus one. Um, at the end of chorus two, there's like a two bar tag where it stays on D. And it kind of drops out to just drums and bass. Um, so when you're doing that, the eighth bar, rather than doing, I play this, something more, much simpler like this. And then I repeat that phrase for the ninth bar. And then you bring the drop in for the tenth bar, and then you back into the um, the verse. So you just have to watch that because there's an odd little, some odd little formats that go on with this. Um, and there's another one. There's another. There's a four bar um, pattern where again it's pretty much just bass and drums. Um, we'll look at that next. Okay. There's this four bar interlude in the tune, um, which is on mostly on G, which is here, fifth fret of the D string. Um, I'll play it. Um, and then I'll just very quickly talk through it. If you listen to the original, you'll hear where this is. And this is quite a distinctive part of the tune, so you've got to try and play it pretty close to how it was played originally. This is how I would play it. Two, three, four. So you can hear it's very simple. It's mostly just hanging on that, with that kind of almost latin -y rhythm. Hanging on the G. got that run which is which is G fifth fret again of the D string E the second fret of the D string and the open D string and then you'll be back into the pattern That's you. Um, if you've got any questions don't hesitate to head over to the website and use the contact form and email me um, if you're not a member of the free monthly e-zine um, also head over to the website and use the subscribe box which is in the right hand corner of just about every page. Um, each month there's a free zine which often has a lesson or a bass line in it uh, so it's definitely worth subscribing. So uh, that was Brown Eyed Girl, uh, I'm Paul Wolf from howtoplaybass.com, I'll see you in my next lesson.